Dear Molly, words betray me at this moment. I know I have told you so many times how much I love and respect you, how unworthy I feel of your love and affection. I love you and swear I will never cease loving you. As we embark together, two in one, I look forward to all that our future holds together. I know I cannot promise perfection, nor can I see the future. So why the journal slash booklet? I wanted to begin this on our start to our new life. It is also a promise and commitment to continue to make additions. The only strings attached to this gift is that I know where you keep it so I can add it to, at my discretion. I love you so much and cannot wait to make many new memories and faces with you, my dearest love, Molly. God bless and Our Lady keep you always. Your greatest admirer, Chuck. Dear Chuck, or should I say greeting neighbor, I can't believe that I'm writing you a letter that you'll be reading on your wedding day. Isn't that crazy cool? Right now I'm probably stressing about something stupid, wishing I was with you so you could say something to make me laugh, and you hold me in your arms. I kind of am at a loss for words, for what to say to you because you mean everything to me, and all the words I would use would fall short to describe what you have done to change my life. Don't feel you must read all the letters I wrote you in the box today, but I look forward to you reading them at some point. I feel a little embarrassed by some of the letters I wrote you before I met you, as they're cheesy, <laughs> but I wanted to share them with you to really show you my heart and know I've been waiting my whole life, not just for any guy, but for you. 